Alright, so I wasn't about to make another one of these videos for a long time, maybe until after the movie actually released, but uh, the next poster came out, or the fake poster, or the real poster, I really don't know at this point. I, I think people are saying it's real. The thing with Sonic's disgusting legs hanging over the side of the bridge. First off, before I get too much into that, I want to say I like some of the poster. Like, you know in the background you see like the blue trail? Like, going down the mountain, up the bridge, and then, like, swirling around, and then pretty much ending where he's sitting. I think it's a really nice effect. Like, it shows that, like, oh, wow, he really is a new speed hero, which still does not actually make sense when you say it out loud, because that's not how English works. But then it pretty much stops there, because we know Sonic looks more realistic in this movie. We know he's not a cartoony, noodle-limbed hedgehog like he is in the games, and in the comics, and in the OVA movie, and on the lunchboxes and the coloring books and everything, because why would you want that, right? But instead, he, he's just got, like, these realistic, jointed human legs. They, they, they look like... It looks like Beast from, from Marvel's, like, illegitimate son, like, or Beast from Disney, I guess, because now they own... Okay, there are two Beasts from Disney. That's true. Didn't think about that, because they did just buy Fox, so now they should, have a, they should probably have a crossover between those two Beasts. I think that'd be fun, but that's not the point. Like, if this was just regular Sonic, right, with his regular legs hanging over the bridge, it would look more, like, cartoony. It would look more cartoony, because obviously the character's more cartoony. And that would lead people less to say, ew, that's gross. Because, like, when I see the realistic, like, legs just hanging over the bridge, it kind of looks like someone just painted their legs blue and just stuck, like, a fur texture on them, and then laced up their red sneakers with no socks. Let me, let me point that out, because a lot of people are, which is... I guess they're worried about Sonic getting calluses or something, but... You know, you gotta protect your feet. You can't run around if you're always in pain, but... If you think about it that way, like, I see the realism there, and it's like, okay... Then I have to think about, okay, he's basically resting the camera up against his crotch to take this picture. And I don't want to think that, but that's what the poster makes me think, because it doesn't... It doesn't, like, a... It's not, like supernatural looking. It doesn't look like a cartoon. Like, if it was a cartoon, it would just be like, oh, that's a really cool shot of this bridge and the really nice effect of, like, the boost trail or whatever they're gonna make it. But instead, it just... it just really makes me uncomfortable, and I feel like it makes a lot of other people uncomfortable, too. And... I don't know, but I don't like feeling uncomfortable. That's my thing. Like, when I look at movie posters, I want to be like, oh, wow, that looks like a cool movie I want to see. Not... Ew. Why... why'd they do that? Like... It's very strange. Then there's this whole thing where the, the writer of the movie apparently tweeted out saying, like, everybody relax, and it's like, the first thing that entered my head was, in the history of the entire world, has telling anyone to relax actually caused them to relax, or does that just incite more anger or resistance? You know, like, I, I don't remember too many instances where saying, hey, relax, relax would cause you to stop being afraid or stop being angry or stop... I don't know, forming an angry mob, or something. I don't think the writers and the people who are making this movie think it's a huge deal, but obviously, fandoms care a lot about things. Like, we see our favorite thing being made into a movie, right? It's like, wow, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard, I can't believe it. So many people are gonna see this, maybe, and like it, maybe. And it's not like any of us want it to be bad, it's not like we're taking out pitchforks and torches because, like, we want this movie to be bad. It's like, like I said before, I didn't have any expectations. I thought it was gonna be mediocre at best. And then, like, you know, seeing them say something like, oh, we have, like, obvious concerns about the design, even though we haven't seen the whole thing yet, but we've seen enough of it, and tell me, I've seen enough of the model, I don't want to see any more, to know that something's not right with it. And even, like, Yuji Naka is tweeting out, saying, like, I don't understand why they're making him look like that, because he's not supposed to be a real hedgehog. He's supposed to be Sonic. He's supposed to be, like, like a cartoon hedgehog. Like, that's the whole point. Like, people on Twitter were comparing it to, like, the the Yogi Bear and Garfield movies and stuff like that, or and Scooby-Doo. And it's like, yeah, they look, like, more realistic, but they look like themselves. Like, you're not gonna look at, like, the, the fat orange cat in Garfield and say, Who is this? Is that Heathcliff? Like, no, that, that's Garfield. That's obviously Garfield. Like, the only one I could say that doesn't look exactly like the cartoon self would be the Scooby-Doo one, because it looks a little bit more just like a weird, real dog. Kind of. 
But at the end of the day, it's still Scooby-Doo. It still looks like Scooby-Doo. You have the, the name tag, you've got, like, the identifying features, like the spots, and... He, he looks like the same kind of dog, except I guess translating a Hanna-Barbera cartoon is a little more difficult, maybe? But, I mean, Yogi Bear did fine. That was Hanna-Barbera as well, right? Hanna-Barbera? Hanna-Bar-Yogi-Bera? Okay. Anyway, um... My point is, those movies kind of took those characters from their source material, and they inserted them into the world, but they inserted them into the live-action world in a way that made sense. They didn't bend the rules of the human world to make it so these things are okay. And, you know, like, oh, maybe they'll discover them in the wild wilderness and be like, whoa, that's weird! Like, how, wow, that's a talking bear! What's going- Like, you know, it's like the cartoon, almost. It's like, Yogi Bear exists, and he's a thing that exists, and people don't care. Like, he exists because it makes sense for that world that they're in. Because it's not the real world, like, it's an exaggeration of the real world. Like, I've been watching BoJack Horseman a lot, and that is not a live-action show, but even though it's very strange, it still feels very realistic. Like, to the point where people are definitely uncomfortable with some of the themes that go on in that show, because it portrays a lot of very dark things very well. But if it was more cartoony than it was, like, if it's even more exaggerated, without having a certain set of rules to it, it wouldn't feel as impactful. So, like, in that show there are people and there are animal people, right? And that's just- that's just a thing. That's just what happens. And nobody questions it, nobody thinks it's out of the ordinary, even though to a viewer it might be really weird that, you know, there are hummingbirds flying around and they're the size of men. But, like, that's just okay there, because they made a world that's very realistic in its own ways, while still being fantastical when it needs to be. And that's, I think, what a lot of movies try to do in some cases, but the Sonic movie doesn't feel like it's trying to do that. It kind of feels like it's just trying to plop Sonic into the real world, like our real world. And there's no reason that that should work, because, like, it, it doesn't work. Like, that, having one giant three-foot hedgehog that can run at the speed of sound amongst regular people with having like, having no precedent for it at all is really jarring. Like, even more so than... They're, they're trying to say, oh, we're going to design him realistically so he fits in. But he will never fit in because that does not exist in a real world and you're not s seeming to set, like, the correct rules for this to be a thing. Like, we haven't seen the movie, but it, it just makes it sound like they're trying to make him fit into the real world without having to actually, like modify it at all, you know? Like, they're trying to make- they're trying to modify Sonic to fit into the world instead of modifying the world so Sonic can be there. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, am I getting my point across? Because I feel like I'm- I might be dancing around the same point a bit, but like, I feel like if they worked just a little bit more on making the world a little bit different so that Sonic could exist in the world as he does in the games, or just slightly different as opposed to radically different, people wouldn't have as many complaints about it. And even if they had to change it just a little bit more, the world, I mean, I don't think it would be that much, like, work, because, like, when I go see a movie, and they set up the world for me, and they say, okay, these are the things that happen. I mean, they don't directly come out and say it, but they show us what happens in the world. They show us what is accepted and what makes sense and how things work. I'm gonna buy into that. I'll be like, okay, this is how things work. I can suspend my feeling of disbelief because I'm not looking at the real world. I'm looking at the real world you created for the movie. And it's no different than looking at the real world because when I'm watching a movie, I'm not, I don't wanna see the real world. I don't want to see a three-foot-tall hedgehog running through New York City, being chased by a fat man on a scooter. Like, that's not what I want. Like, I want to see something that's cool and fun and Sonic-y and... But I, I don't know if that's what they're going for. I feel like they're just going for a, a random, like, Alvin and the Chipmunks-esque world, where, like, oh, these things exist for some reason, and they're gonna go on a road trip. I think that's literally the plot of the, the Sonic movie, right? Like, they're going on a trip across their country to get something back, and Dr. Robotnik's gonna try to stop them because he's Dr. Robotnik. I, just, I don't really know how else to say it aside from, like, they probably could make this work, but I don't think they're thinking of all of the possibilities, and they're definitely not responding to the people's concerns as they should be, like, 
Again, it just makes it seem like they don't really care. And I could be completely wrong. I'm not trying to, like, step on anyone's toes that's working on this movie. But I guess only time's gonna tell what's gonna happen with this. I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this movie and this new poster in the dis in the, the comments, not the description. Um, and I'm not gonna make another video like this, I promise, until, like, after this movie's out. Because I just want to... I want to see what else happens, and unless something is, like, ridiculous, like, absolutely ridiculous, I'm probably not going to talk about it again. So, sorry for the rants, I just, I don't understand some stuff that's going on here. Like, I, this really feels like a paycheck movie so far, with all the things we've seen. And, that's not, I mean, you gotta make money when you're making a movie, that's how, that's what it's for. But, you know, you can also put care into it, and... Some people understand that, some people might not. Also, sorry about videos being a little bit sporadic this week and for the last couple weeks. I'm at end of the semester, trying really hard to stay on course, but it's like... I I'm getting really beat up right now, so I promise things will be back to normal very soon, but... Don't worry, I'll have something else after this today as well, in addition to that other video I mentioned in the post that probably nobody saw. But, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please let me know what you think about this in the comments, and... I want to hear what you have to say about it. I want to engage with you about this thing, because I feel like this is a really good point of discussion, because, like, we all have opinions on these things, and at the end of the day, that's what they are, opinions. But if we can all talk about them and just see what everybody else has buzzing around in their heads, I think that's a really cool thing. So, uh, as a fandom, let's just keep talking about this, and maybe at some point we'll see something more about this movie that we actually like. Who knows? I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to be a train wreck. I don't want it to be a train wreck. I want it to be good. I want it to be at least okay. And if it is, I'll be really happy. But that remains to be seen. So I will see you guys in the comments. Down there. Just, uh, you know, click in the box and type it up and...